over the years, I've been able to see hundreds of people come to Christ, and it's always an exciting thing, and, and to watch that process take place in people's lives is just uh, incredible. Uh, it became personal for our family about two weeks ago. Our six-year-old little boy came home, and he said, I'm ready to trust Christ as my Savior, and he did that two weeks ago, so we have a lot. We have a lot to be thankful for in our home. Now, I'm not sure he gets the baptism thing yet because uh, about six days ago, he said to me, he said, now is it time for y'all to drop me in the water? <laughs> well, <laughs> so we'll work on that part with him. But I have a lot to be thankful for. But also in our extended family, there's some stressful things going on. Maybe you're there. Uh, maybe in your family, there's some stress going on and and so on one hand, you're elated and you have something to be just incredibly thankful for. And on the other hand, there's stress. Um, in Scripture, there's a passage that I want to read to you today. It's about a guy named Paul and Silas. And there's a scene where those two are in prison. If you know this story, it's in Acts 16. And they're in the middle of this prison. They've been taken into the inner parts of the prison, it says. And uh, I, I want to read you these words. Here's what we find. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying. And singing hymns to God, so you can just say, hey, they were thanking God. They were praising him. Now, I'll come back to that in a moment. It says, suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he had thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we are all. The first couple of words of that passage just hit me about midnight. He said those guys were up, weren't they? Um, there was stress in their lives. They were in this inner dwelling of the prison. And, and yet at about midnight, that dark night of the soul for them, what did they do? They thank God. They praise God. It says that they were singing hymns to God. And that just reminds me that um, no matter if you're in the times of elation like we were with, with our little boy or if we're in the stressful times like we are with our extended family, that thankfulness and gratefulness to God is an elixir. It's an antidote. It brings healing to our soul. It brings a relationship back together with our God. And it just reminds us once again that no matter what we're going through, that thankfulness and gratefulness uh, can help. I heard somebody say this one time, and it just kind of hit me. They said, thank your way through it. Thank your way through it. Uh, whatever you're up to today, whatever's kind of happening, why don't you thank your way through it? Um, because God is worthy of our gratefulness. He's worthy of our thankfulness. And we thank our way through it. He can do mighty and incredible things. Thank you.